average person is just left with 1,080 hours a year, which equates to roughly three hours a day. Now in my mind, three hours is a lot of time as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, but that may not seem like a lot of time for the average American, the average mom, three, four kids, you know, those three hours get eaten up very quickly. The simple idea of this strategy that I laid out for myself is to determine how much time will it take me to build a viable business that can produce at least 10 times what I am making today, right? So once you factor in the different things that you go through in your day to day, right? you start with the 8,760 and just go through it. Where's my time going? You could probably spend about an one hour to two hours to figure this out. It took me about a good hour and a half. I just sat down one day and I dedicated an hour and a half to figure out where is my time going? And I came up with these different things, right? And I had X amount of free time left over. So if we went with this number, 1,080 hours left free time, that equals your cash flow. okay? In those hours, plus the hours that you work already making money will determine roughly about how much you can produce or how much you need to produce per hour, right? In terms of revenue, okay? So that was the first thing that I did for myself. Just figure out where's my time going. After I know where my money goes and I know my numbers, now I'm looking at my time. Then there's a couple of the rules I put in place that I've come to learn, which is the 10,000 hour rule. Has anybody ever heard of that one? The 10,000 hour rule to become an expert? So here's what's interesting. Being 26 years old, would you guys call me an expert in the field that I'm in? It's just opinion. Okay, so Ollie says yes. Anybody else? Nick says yes. Okay. Well, on paper, technically I'm not. But that doesn't matter because the next rule below that is better known beats best. If you are a financial advisor you've been counseling people for 25 years right and then i come on the scene but i engage people through social media and i go viral i now have over 3 million views over 41,000 subscribers and technically more people know me than you that have 25 years of experience and 10,000 hours in the game it almost doesn't matter to the vast majority okay but i still use the rule because i think it is a standard of measurement to determine how good you really are so i have about at this point a little over six thousand hours dedicated to mastering my finances right so i consider myself a strategist a specialist i've never called myself an expert just yet but i've been called an expert by many uh, thousands of people at this point, which overrules based off of a few rules, which is better known beats best. And then the next thing being, being authority, right? If you come into the room with authority, with confidence, people believe that, are motivated by that, are inspired by that, and they move forward. Sometimes, they will believe the person with less experience than the person with years and years of experience, but no, no drive in them, no passion, no, no inspiration, no motivation. So they don't make the move, right? But coming back to my, my rules here to help develop my management, which leads to cash flow, right? Cause that's mostly every people that's, a lot of people's problems even in this room right if if cash flow wasn't an issue ap1 would be fully funded at this point with the 30 plus people in this room i've done the math right so cash flow is an issue in this room and out of this room that's okay i'm here to provide a solution to that now it's just a matter for you know you to apply it if it works for you if it doesn't let me know maybe i can uh, refine it right and i'll and i'll learn but so far and this is just me being very transparent. This has worked very well for me.
okay? So 10,000 hours to become an expert, why do we need to know that measurement so that you can get paid at an exponential rate? You, you, you can justify that. And people see it before you become it, so therefore they pay it. It's a pretty real neat experience. And by being better known beats best, meaning you come into the marketplace via social media, speaking engagements, putting yourself out there, letting people know who you are and what you bring to the table will convince, persuade, and convert people to your environment, to your economy. And they will want to feed that. They'll want to plant their seed in that because they see what you're producing, right? So with that being said, I take the current income of the individual that I'm working with. Let's say I'm working with all you guys here. And let's just say that you made 332,000 last year. Okay, this was being fully transparent. This is my revenue last year, 2021. This is what I close the year out with. So I take whatever I made last year and I multiply that by 10 to set the goal of, of where I wanna head. A lot of people mess up when they set a goal of, oh, I just wanna make an extra 500 bucks uh, a month, an extra thousand bucks a month and that'll that'll help me you know pay off this debt and do this and do that and the other thing what you don't realize is if you set such a small goal and you got all this free time oftentimes we will waste that and then we don't hit such a small goal we get depressed anxiety kicks in stress kicks in day-to-day -day life kicks in and you don't hit the goal and it was so small versus what if you made such a big audacious goal right huge goal that even if you failed miserably you have success right so breaking that paradigm shift right there so i take the current income of that individual multiply it by 10 in my case last year did 332k in revenue times that by 10 3.3 million is the goal to make okay i look at the free time that i have let's just say these are my these are my hours. I actually work over 50 hours a week. So my, my number, my time available to produce the cash flow is actually in my favor. But just going off the 2,080 hours and the 1,080 hours of free time, just that alone, add the two, get 3,160 hours a year dedicated to producing 3.3 million in revenue. Divide that 3.3 million divide that by 3160 i need to make a thousand fifty four dollars an hour right now if i want to lower that if that seems scary again even if i fail miserably and in my business i charge 247 an hour for a consultation fee who's upset i'm not upset it's about running the numbers according to the time you have available to achieve the goal that we're trying to hit so my current hourly rate is 247 an hour, right? And this is non-expert level. There are financial experts, financial coaches that are experts that or claim to be experts charging three to four hundred dollars an hour or more. So when I reach expert status according to the rule, then I can increase my rates. But that's just a personal preference. I could jump that now if I wanted to, and people would pay it, right? But just looking at what I set it at, and this, this when I do this with clients, this uh, helps them set a, a reasonable rate if they are a coach, uh, life coach, consultant, social media, digital uh, photographer, videographer. You know, I, I have them go through this process to determine how much they should be charging for their time based on the free time they have and based off of last year's income, right? It wouldn't make sense if you have a career, you're making a hundred grand a year, right? And then you start a coaching business charging $20 an hour. You're, you're gonna run yourself through the wall. It's not gonna make sense. You're going to go broke because you left a six figure to follow your passion and you went broke following your passion rather than sitting down and evaluating the cost before making a move, right? And there's some scripture to back me up on that. So take the 247 
times that by 1,080 hours. That's three hours a day. Imagine doing, imagine doing three coaching calls a day, or, you know, you take the three times it by seven, that's 21 hours. And maybe you divide 21 over a four or five day week. And then you're making 266 K off of just 1,080 hours. Right? So here's the thing. The goal was to make 3.3 million. I fail miserably. I make 266,000 this year. I'm not going to be upset. My expenses to run my business operations, to pay taxes, my giving, saving, investing, co-vesting, personal expenses, everything is under 200 grand a year. So I still profit over 60 grand, right? So that's just going back to managing your numbers correctly.